Welcome cartoonists. Uh, I'd like to thank all my subscribers for following me and all the people watching me for the first time think they can't draw but they're actually going to find out they can. Another strange request came in for a line on a pogo stick. Stupid idea but I do like silly ideas. Now my page, because it's quite a long card here, I'm doing it this way up, which is called Portrait. I normally do them landscape, so it's quite a long cartoon. If you can turn your page that way, so you've got a little bit more room to work. It's a long diagonal cartoon, and it's tricky, but I think we can do it. If you start with a little curve, it's not quite a straight line, it's just on a curve. That's the top of the head. I'll get a little bit closer for you to show you the next lines. So once you've, you've got that, doesn't matter how wide it is, we're going to do lines sort of going out a little bit from there. Okay, that's going down towards the nose. So it's like a big N shape, isn't it, again? If you can do it in one, that's great. Now these ears are like another N shape. And slightly square at the top, just give them a little bit more of a, of a different sort of shape. So basically two ends on a big end. And inside there, two smaller ends, that's for the inside of the ear. And once, you, once you're ready for colouring and shading, etc., you can just do those pink so you can see the inside of the ears. So again, I like to use familiar shapes that we're used to writing, like ends. And now this is a U. From that wide point, this is going to be the chin of the animal, which we're going to fit the nose in as well. So that's a nice deep U shape. And that's the bottom of the lion's head. We've not started on the mane yet, so don't think we've missed that out or anything. So around about where it, the U starts in the middle, we do a triangle shape. So there's the top, there's the bottom coming down. It's quite a rounded sort of triangle shape. And that will be the nose. If you want to do a round nose, you can do. And if you want to make it more of an angle, you can do. It's up to you. Again, it's your cartoon. For the mouth, this is a W shape. A nice soft, W shape and you put that W around about the middle of the nose. If it's a bit wonky like mine it doesn't matter, it's just adding character to your cartoon character. Just a couple of little dots, do as many as you like for the whiskers. You can put whiskers on it as well if you like. And this is just to divide the top of the head from the muzzle area. You can see that I've kind of messed my line up there so I'm just going to close that gap. And just make it a little bit thicker just to cover my mistake so don't worry if you're going a little bit wrong we just get around it you don't notice it by the time we finished our cartoon I've just done a little circle there because that's the bit I'm not going to color or shade in that's the shiny bit of the nose and once you've got that far which is great it'll help me when you're coloring in now I'm going to do the eyes which are basically a really simple shape an O shape and a more oval O shape. I'm doing them different shapes just to give it more character so you can experiment with that. And mine's going to be quite a happy line because it's very very pleased with itself that it's actually managed to ride a pogo stick. So the eyebrows are going up to show this lion is quite happy. So now it looks a bit like a bear but what's going to make it look more like a lion is the mane. So I'm making an N shape, more or less in the middle of that head, but above it. And next to it, another N shape. Now work one side, then the other, so you don't sort of lose yourself going down to the left and then all down to the right. Do it one side, then the other. It'll help, help you get quite symmetrical if you do it one side, then the next. Just work your way down. That's more like a C shape. And it's like a fluffy sort of cartoony mane and I think you'll find it's easier if you just work on them one side then the next just working our way down it'll save you going wrong if you try and match it all on the other side now maybe just another couple of lines and we're going to leave room for the body which we're going to start on now and that's going to be quite tricky so 
don't worry if you have to pause the video because we want to get this as good as we can okay there's a better angle so still if you got rid of that mane it could be a bear so you could use it for a bear cartoon as well so we're going to work on the body starting from around about here we're doing a nice C shape and that is the arm it's nice and rounded we're not bothering with any elbows and this is the inside of the arm another little C and the way its wrist is it's more or less lined up with each other there the top and the bottom of that arm and we're just going to put some big paws N shapes curves and a U shape at the bottom so just three big paws doesn't matter how big you go they've got really big pads of paws uh, lions now we've got to do the top of this pogo stick whose idea was this okay just a line coming down to that paw now we're going to follow this pogo stick it's got to go the full length of this cartoon so we're going to just keep adding bits of pogo stick as we go down Try and find an easy way of drawing a line on a pogo stick. This is its other hand, and you just see its thumb there. That's that circle there. And one, two, three sort of fingers of its paw. And that's an easy way of drawing the hand, gripping onto that pogo stick. Now we can finish the mane. If you've got any room, just finish the mane off, any little bits and pieces. So we've got the top of the line now. But it's still going to get tricky. But there's the other arm. Just do a C shape the other way, just to show that's its elbow sticking up there, holding onto that pogo stick. I told you it was tricky. I hope you're keeping up okay. So I'm just going to carry this pogo stick down a little bit. We're going to work our way down with it as we work our way down the cartoon. Now, this is the back end of the lion. Now it stood up on this pogo stick, so this is where it gets tricky. So just follow me on, follow me on this. There's a little um, joint or elbow on back of its knee, whichever it is. And this is its hip. But try and leave room for your pogo stick. Because that pogo stick's going to carry on drawing down in a minute. Just that little bit at a time, just do bits at a time. A little bit of shading there. So you've got the hip, that's the back hip of the lion. And there's the knee at the back. And that's the way their knees are set up. And now just some little lines coming down. That's more like the bottom of its of its leg. Now just leaving room for its foot, we're gonna draw a line across. And that's what they stand on for the pogo stick. I don't know what you call it. Don't know what they're called. But that is what this line is standing on. Easy thing for the paw. M shape and a little N on the end. And that's its paw stood on the pogo stick. And on the other side, can't see much of it. Just three little N shapes. Can't wait to see what yours is like. Okay, this is its tummy. Make it as big. As, or flat as you want, whichever, depending on whether he's been on the pogo stick a lot, doing lots of exercise. Again, we're carrying this pogo stick down, and now we're towards the end or the bottom of that pogo. Just close that line up at the bottom, so like a big square that's like the rubber stopper so it doesn't slip around, and I'm just Putting a P on there for Pogo. You can put your initial on or anything you want or just leave it blank. It's up to you. Now these, any idea what these are? They're like U-shapes. That looks like a spring. It's like a spring to make it bouncy. And it's, you can just finish it off by doing that. All we're short of now is a tail. So we can just do a wavy line. Again, if you're falling behind anywhere, just pause it, go back and have a look, see how I did it. Just take your time. This is a really tricky one, this. I'd really love to see what you've come up with. 
And there's a bit of a curvy line and back and that's the the end of the tail They're a bit fluffy on the end of the tail like like a thin tail with a fluffy bit on the end and i'm just adding any bits and pieces in that the, the back leg that you can't quite see the shading underneath the pogo stick to show that it's off the ground because that's the shadow it's casting and little movement marks here and there just to give your cartoon that little bit of movement. Don't be freaked out by those, they're just little U-shapes. It looks like a spring at first glance, and that's all you want, the first glance, people looking at your cartoon thinking, that's oh, a spring, it does look like it. That square at the bottom is like a rubber stopper, you can shave that in a different colour. And for adding colour to the line, it can be any colour you want. I did say that I was going to colour these ears pink if I had some coloured pencils. It would look good if, the, uh, if these were pink. The main is going to be a darker shade, so if you want to use a brown, for instance, on the face, use a lighter brown, and then a nice darker brown uh, for the main. You can leave the, the nose area white, or again, a lighter shade. Just while I'm shading this in, I'd like to say, Lakeitha, your cartoons are amazing. I'd like to see what you can do with this lion or any of our workshops. They're in no particular order. You can have a go at drawing anything and send your pictures in because I'd like to give out a few prizes here and there of my artwork, which I can send to you. The good thing about this mane is it should have a matching tip of the tail. So whatever color, if it's blue, pink or whatever, should be the same color as the mane. So it matches up. Uh, again, I'm just shading any areas that may be in the in the uh, in the shadow of the body, at like the bottom of the paws, the fingers, whatever they are. Just take your time. Now I have a couple of bits of my artwork to give out this week. I wish I could send you all some because you're all doing brilliantly. And the list of subscribers is growing, so I can't send them all out. But he's put a really good effort in this week, drawing what I draw, uh, Matthew and Megan. So you'll be receiving a couple of bits of my artwork. So well done. And keep drawing. I hope it inspires you to keep drawing. And uh, just keep those pictures coming in. We feature them all, as many as we can, on our Facebook group. So you'll all get a shout out at one stage. Don't forget to sign your work. You must sign your work. And if you've got any mad requests like a pogoing lion or a skiing pig or whatever it is, just leave a comment. And leave a comment if you enjoyed the workshop as well. So I know you're out there. Because it's good to hear from you. And keep posting the pictures of yourselves as well as your artwork. Now if yours are any better than this, I'm impressed. I mean, that's a, put a longer face on that one. That's a bit shorter. That one's a wider face on that one and a bigger tummy and skinnier legs and this one's lost control completely could end up anywhere on that pogo stick so keep in contact with us you're cartoonists now and you're in my cartoon group and you're doing brilliantly and i will put you in my hall of fame if you send pictures of you and your cartoons in and keep liking these videos if you like them and leave comments if you've got anything to say, any suggestions. Am I going too fast, too slow? Let me know and I'll see you tomorrow.